All right, now that is a lot better. <coughs> oh, dusty, too much dust. I haven't screwed down the boards completely. Like, you know, this big board here has one screw here. And I think it has, oh, it only has two screws total. Anyway, so it's you know, not totally stuck down. Uh, I'm not gonna screw them all down yet because, well, they're all screwed down, but I'm not gonna put enough screws because the boards are gonna shrink and depending how much they shrink, if they don't shrink much, I can probably just leave it. But I think they're gonna shrink enough that it's gonna be worth unscrewing all the boards, shoving them in that way. You know, I might have to put another board on the edge here and you know, re-trim the edge so they can all get shoved in and you know, get them fitted nice and tight. But uh, it's gonna take months for the boards to finish um, shrinking. So, in the meantime, uh, I'm just gonna start using the floor. And then after, after I shove all the boards over and they're in their final positions, then I'll, I'll probably go over it with some sandpaper, maybe a hand planer. I don't know, I'll do some kind of last finish. When I planed these boards, a lot of them went through and it, like, you know, planed, you know, perfectly. But then some of them had kind of low spots and I could have said, I don't want to use those, but I was like, that's fine. So, you know, there are a few, a few rough spots. And maybe I'll get those out later, or maybe I'll just leave them, because I don't really care. Oh, man, that looks so nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, in the meantime, I want to give these boards some, some bug protection. So I have some powdered borax down in the kitchen. It's like, it's like stuff you, you put in your laundry to get it to wash more easily. Um, but bugs don't like it. Actually, if they eat it, it kills them. So I'm gonna mix them up. Oh, here, I'll show you. Oh, and I just got the last board up on the stairs here. Yeah, it lines up pretty well, yeah. And it's the same height as every other stair, so that's good. Yeah, good stuff. This is hot water. And I put a whole bunch of borax in there. I, I don't even know how much I put in. The water does look kind of weird though. I don't know if it shows up on the camera. But borax is all dissolved in there. The borax being this stuff here. Get out of the way. Yeah, that stuff. And you know, there are instructions of how to do this. Now I'm gonna put half of that into my sprayer here and I always I always put things through a piece of cloth when I put them in the sprayer so I don't get gunk in it. And mix and fill the rest with water. All right, I got my gunk here. I'm gonna put this in without <clears throat> melting anything. How did I do this last time? Let me just... Guys, just pump it up like this a bunch of times. Go away, pal. Oh, I should move that. Ooh, do you think I have a strap? I guess I'll use it. All right, I'm gonna do the bottom of the floor first. Do the kitchen last, so I don't get my peanut butter sandwich over there. Oh,
Oh, I forgot. I like to put a squirt of soap in here too. So I remember to do that after. That's why there's bubbles there now. And I just filled this up a second time. I actually had like one little strip left when I ran out. So pretty much did the whole bottom. And the top should use less because I'm not, you know, it's all going to land down. You know, I was doing the, the underneath parts. I knew a bunch would fall down, so I put more. I want to make sure I get lots of this junk on here. Uh, the reason I put a bit of soap in there, I don't. No one told me that's a good idea or anything. Um, but soapy water kills ants. So if there are any ants on the wood right now, and this gets them, they'll be dead. And we're gonna walk backwards, so I'm not walking through the water. Which means I can't come get the camera until we go all the way around. Oh. oh man, that is awesome. officially got a dedicated Lego zone. Alright, if I keep the Lego boxes on the side there, that should prevent spillage out into the rest of the floor. And then put a couple boards there. I haven't cut them or screwed them. It's just some scraps, which I think is fine for now. And the carpet goes right up all the edges so no Lego can escape down the corners there. And I think that's big enough. We'll just have to, we'll just have to be aware of Lego not coming this way. Right, children? Oh my gosh, I need to spray paint roads on this. No, I think I need to consult kids before I spray paint anything on there though. Oh, oh, that's gonna be, oh, they're gonna be so excited. Oh, that's so good. Well, I have 12 more sections to figure out what to do. Oh, and this carpet here, I've had it for, for several months, rolled up downstairs. I cut it to fit this section. I still have a decent piece left over. Not enough to fill in a whole other section, but like half a section. I'll have to come up with something good. It's outdoor carpeting. Well, you know, indoor, outdoor carpeting. Should be easy to clean and last a long time. Okay, what's next? Uh, what do we have down here that needs to... <gasps> oh, sewing machine. Oh, where is it? Right there. Yeah, right, right, right there. Yeah, I can build a sewing section up here. Oh my gosh. This, this, okay. This table down here has just become the everything table, which is why there's just too much on it. Um, so yeah, I need to make a sewing section up here and a drawing section up here. Those could probably be the same because I'm not usually sewing and drawing at the same time. And, and both require, you know, kind of a little, little bit of storage below and then a nice open space on the top uh, yeah, maybe I should bring that table up here. Or do I build a new table? I've got all this food. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have so many things I can do now. <gasps> and all my blue mats. Oh, my gymnastics mats. I can put some of those up here. Or all of them up here. Oh, so much space will be liberated. And, oh, I gotta get those kids to stop taking spray paint cans and putting them all over the place. We got those to spray paint 3D printed things. Okay, buddy, gotta be careful. I don't want to junk up the second floor with all the stuff on the first floor. I'm very excited to unclutter the first floor, but I can't, I can't clutter up the second floor in doing so. So, let's see, I need, to, I need to think about this. Come up with some good plans. I've got 11 sections, kind of minus one, because the, the stairs, you know, they go in this section, but there's still some space here. Although I always want to have an outside lane available to go all the way around. And I was thinking about that with the Lego section. Anytime we're doing running around the track, we can just, you know, do, do some of that. 
Oh, and my kayak down here is at the point where I'm, I've got it like all sanded and I just put a little bit of filler in some little tiny holes and it's pretty close to being ready for wax. And then soon I'll be able to get this thing out of here. Man, I'm gonna have so much space liberated. And then these mattresses, they're going on the third floor eventually. I mean, the same with all those gymnastics mats, but I bet I could put them up here for a while to do something. Of course, then I also need to do something with my water tank here, which is gonna go in some other house and stop just being my clothing dump. It's not my clothes dump, those are all my clean clothes. It's my, it's my dresser. I don't, know what I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I definitely have to think about where I put any mats or mattresses up here because kids are gonna stand on these rails and just do gi giant flying superfly snooka wrestling maneuvers on each other and I don't want any kids falling off here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to... You know, now that I'm looking at stuff down here, I should order some, some sandpaper. I bought these three yards, you know, square yards of sandpaper uh, in town, but I'm sure I can get a much better price ordering them.